Hello, hello, it's your girl Clara. I'm back again with you, and today I'm here. Uh, last time we saw uh, in Uganda, we had what we call a Jaji Genda Maso. Jaji Genda Maso in Uganda. And the people found out that people were celebrating and people were getting married in Nansana, and the Badiwa Fumbira, they were gay people. A man getting married to a fellow man. So today, hmm. I'm here to talk about, I'm going to leave a video there so that you see that I've been to Biali, I've been to Jebiri. Mm. In Uganda, in Uganda, not any other country, but it was in Uganda. It was happening in Uganda, in Nansa, and we're by Basanga Kapo, Ngabagenda Kwe, Anjula, all that. But today I'm here to talk about homosexuality. Uh, by talking ab about homosexuality, it has like, Ngenda Bime Nyamu, Mo homosexuality mbela mu bagge. Tinamba by bagay be bagala basajaba nawe and then uh hom the lesbians be bagala balaba nabe then bisexual be bagala nga solo kwa gala msaja mune then ne kum kazi nga solo mwagala. Jebali abantu bato. But um here to share a video to tell you that putting aside some countries which don't have those strong, strong, strong uh what can I say? Those strong are they rules uh, on homosexuality. There are some countries, nga, trust me, you cannot even dare try to do such things in their countries. Nga weba kwata, you're done for. You're gone. You're a gone case, you know. Because there are some countries that are so lenient that haven't really I went ahead to put in much to show that uh, those people are there and I won't say much about them because God has a way of doing his things. I won't say much, but uh, it's not good. Yes, Babi Vumidida, I think I said you don't anyway. But to your gun, I tell you, Babi Kola, Kubanga, Babi Kola, and Babi Funamu Saint. So, Obera, Oingi Dechi business here but mulimu and says there are certain countries that do not really allow such things if they catch you doing anything like that there are some strong strong rules that are going to be put against you and you really won't like them so i'm here to share with you those countries we're going to go in a video whereby i'm going to share with you the countries so that you get to know that ncj ziri and tezisaga weba kuatira ngokola ebintu webito trust me, you're done for. So, uh, among those countries, I'm going to mention few, then we're going to be seeing a video besides, so that you get to see them and know that some countries, it's not really a joking subject. When it, when it comes to homosexuality, they don't really deal with it. One of the countries, we have Egypt, whereby you have to face uh, three years in jail, and also a uh, penalty and then another one is uh iran iran you have to face a death you have to face a death penalty and you have to get like 31 lashes and when it comes to let me say muslim world trust me when they say stoning you to death it will be stoning you to death i mean those Muslim countries with, with uh, really strict, strict laws. When they say lashes, they mean lashes. So we are going to see a video besides so that you get to know other countries that really do not joke when it comes to homosexuality. They don't really support people like that who, are, who go on and love fellow men, uh, love fellow women, or they do it both ways. They love men and at the same time they can deal with women. So anyway, let's go to the video so that you get a chance to see those countries. And at least give a thumbs up for them and put a comment if you're coming in one of those strict countries that don't really support homosexuality. You're doing really a great job because very many children in, in such countries uh, that have not yet put strict laws are really facing it in a rough way because abana basinga bono nika banji nyo oli na vayo na jana kwa na mwala muno na jana kwa na na kugamba ko and who is to be blamed anyway that's up to you put a comment 
as we go on, put a comment below. In my comment section, if you're coming from those countries and if you're from other countries that really have strict laws, you can also go ahead, put down your country and tell us which kind of punishment do they give to people if at all they find you that you're loving a fellow man or a fellow woman or you are a bisexual. Yes, let's go, let's go ahead and see the countries. So let's just dive into the video and get to see these countries. Um, mostly what I've, I've liked about this country, let me take you back to this country. Uh, the one that has, is it? No, not Yemen. Aha, uh -huh. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a Islamic country and it gives you a hundred lashes. Do you know lashes? <laughs> Lashes are a death penalty, and they really don't joke, I'm telling you. When it comes to Muslims, they don't have... Well, but even if you're going, like, putting aside this, I'm just referring to you. If you go to the... If you're going to Mecca, these people who come with their habits of stealing, eh, and you go pick pocket from someone's pocket, they would teach you a lesson that you will learn and also tell others that they will learn from it. Because they will real catch you and the hand that tried to pick pocket from someone's pocket. And you will live to tell a story, I'm telling you. Anyway, without wasting your time, thank you so much for keeping yourself on my YouTube channel. One thing, do not forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that whenever I get a chance to upload any new videos, you're always there to watch, like, share, and comment. At least you've got a chance, you've gotten a chance to know the worst countries that you cannot go in when you're planning to become gay. You know? I love you all. Ciao, ciao.